you, you touched on this a little bit, Ty, but you talk about cancer being an immune condition. Um, so why the increase in cancer then? What's going on with our immune systems that, as a population, yeah. that's, that's allowing the cancer rate to increase? Great question. We're, we are being overloaded with environmental toxins that we can't do anything about. Mm. You can't really do much about the air you breathe in. We're here in LA. We're in Los Angeles. Okay, so we can see it. We can see it, but it's <laughs> thick. So nothing you can do. You got to breathe the air. Mm -hmm. But we're we are getting toxins in our water that are overloading our immune system, damaging our DNA. We're getting toxins on our food with the pesticides and the, and the insecticides. We're eating foods that are not really foods that are damaging our DNA. These, mm -hmm. these processed foods with the genetically modified ingredients in them are really not foods. They're foodstuffs, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. But they're not really foods that nourish our body. So we're being bombarded from every direction with these toxic chemicals, these pollutants that are damaging cellular DNA, that are compromising the immune system. And so that's what's happening. And see, that's the difference, Scott, with, with, with life in 2012 versus life in 1900. And that's why the incidence of cancer, one of the reasons that the incidence of cancer has increased from 1 in 80 to 1 in 2 men, 1 in 3 women in, in just over 100 years. Back then, what did they eat? They had raw milk from their goats and cows, mm -hmm. and they had eggs from their free-range chickens, and all of the very, few, very little grains were fed to the animals then, so they had good uh, grass-fed meats. They had a good ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fats. They had vegetables from their garden. They drank well water. They didn't have the fluoride in their water at that point. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the RBGH in their milk products or their meat products. They didn't have the antibiotics that are on in all of the animals today. They didn't have the pesticides and the insecticides and fungicides that we have on our foods today. They didn't have the planes spraying all kinds of toxins in the air. They, all the chemicals that we are being bombarded with, probably 95% of them, they didn't have 100 years ago. So that's, I think that's the key.